These days, a click of a button can transport a product from here to here. But what happens in between? Well, it's hard to say because we just don't see it. But there is a lot happening along the way. And much of it doesn't bode well for the climate. Companies claim they source responsibly, but that's really hard to verify. Could another kind of chain potentially help us make sure that the things we buy don't come at a massive cost to the planet? The blockchain claims it can. Hundreds of years ago, supply chains were very simple. You bought your fish from the local fisherman, your vegetables from the farmer, and your furniture from, yes, you guessed it, the carpenter. Hmm. It wasn't hard to figure out where your products came from. Today, it's a totally different story. Supply chains are complex, global, and usually involve thousands of suppliers. Take, for example, your phone, this old thing. There are more than 200 suppliers from all over the world that are involved in putting this together. And you probably don't have the first clue about who those suppliers are or where the materials actually come from. Companies don't like to talk about this and they prefer that we don't want to hear about it either. Transparency in supply chains wasn't a thing that we cared about. But now, especially as we face a global climate crisis, things are starting to change. People are demanding transparency. It's hard to know whether the things we buy were produced in ways that are damaging to the environment. For example, that eco toothbrush that you love and use every day at home. How do you know it's really eco? Well, what if you could take a sneak peek at that sexy corporate paperwork and get your hands on copies of every transaction ever made, tracking every product you ever buy? Exciting, right? Well, it should be, because it's one way that you can ensure your stuff comes exactly from where companies claim it does. Enter the blockchain. Now, don't panic. This thing makes my head spin as well, but it's really not as complicated as you think. We first heard the term blockchain when cryptomania took over. Cryptocurrency, I mean, it's the new wave. It's what everybody's doing. Ethereum is going to $10,000 and Bitcoin is going to $100,000. I think what's going on definitely will come to a bad ending. There's a good chance that crypto is the future currency of Earth. But while Bitcoin is the energy consuming face of this model, Blockchain is the logic of decentralization at the heart of it. And it has the potential to be used for so much more because a key part of decentralization is transparency, something we desperately need as we navigate the climate crisis. By design, it can be used to track and trace. The idea of creating infinite, traceable, and trackable public digital records of something to make sure that no one can tamper with it. Information from those records is stored on blocks, which form a chain that everyone can see on the internet, hence the name blockchain. Simple, right? Every part of the product's journey can be captured and added to the chain, creating a clear, traceable path from its origin to your hands. Now, you might be thinking, aren't supply chains already traceable and trackable? And what does the blockchain really add here? Well, the thing is, blockchain was created to allow transactions between parties who don't know each other and don't trust each other. Because it's designed to be tamper-proof and decentralized, Blockchain fans claim it eliminates the need for trust. You wouldn't need to trust anyone's claims of sustainability if you could simply check it for yourself. And that transparency and accountability is what could really help us in our fight against climate change. It's how we can be assured that our climate solutions are actually helping and not coming at the expense of other environmental costs that are invisible to us. Like electric cars, for example. Electric vehicles use lithium ion batteries, which is a huge leap towards sustainable travel but as many of us know, can also be very taxing on the environment. But there are different ways of mining lithium. One is much more energy intensive than the other. So how do you know which lithium is used in your electric car? This is where the blockchain can help. A British startup tackling transparency in the supply chain is using blockchain, my God, there are so many chains, to help record every step that the raw material takes from mining to manufacturing. That means that you'd be able to see and verify where it was sourced. And that's not all. Carbon emissions at each stage of the production can also be uploaded onto the ledger. As consumers, one way to fight climate change is by being conscious about what we consume. But the decisions we make are only as good as the information that we have. If a company lies about where it sourced a product, there's often no way for us to know. Crypto fans claim the blockchain can help change that. Like many other climate tech solutions out there, it is, of course, early days. There's been a lot of theorizing, years of pilots and testing, and as of yet, 
not one golden project to set our compass by. But it could be a step towards a more transparent world that holds corporations accountable. Because maybe the next time a brand starts to make big climate promises and asks you to buy green and sustainable products, you will get to say, well, prove it.